Sandra stood there. We're outside the service station right now, heading to London, right? So I've just picked up. We got last, last night's pizza leftovers. We got a dozen donuts. Yeah, we're meant to be we're meant to be on a diet, bro. We're eating donuts out here. Um, and I've just I've just really worried myself and panicked myself and realised I've lost my boots. I don't know where my boots are, so literally I've got my Jordans on and I've got these white high tops. Bro, I've left my boots at home. I'm gonna have to go into the underground in my high tops. Let's just pray it's not flooded this time. That reminds me actually. The day today is the 30th of November. Yesterday on the 29th of November, we had a terrorist attack here in London. Uh, a man was on the bridge, he stabbed a number of people. As we know so far, two of those had died. Um, it is a worry coming to London. It's always a worry coming to the capital. It's a target for terrorism, um, but obviously it's, it's extra. It's an extra worry, knowing it was literally 24 hours ago there was a terrorist attack. Also, we are going into underground London. We're finding these manhole covers. We're finding these entrances into the underworld. Does that mean terrorists can also find them? I mean, you saw in the Manchester one where they're underneath the train station. I had to notify anti-terrorism police because if, if someone went underneath that train station, they could literally implode it on itself and cause mass disruption because we walk past the server room for the train station. Do you think, as an urban explorer, as an adventurer who is discovering these kind of things, is it my responsibility to notify the authorities that there's a potential risk? Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. Do you agree that that's right or not? The moment we're looking for the entrance, it's part of the struggle. We've got to find the entrance. Sometimes you've got to be walking around in circles for about an hour before we find it. It's size half the size of these blocks height wise and about half the length. What's it like to get in? Do you know what? I can get you in. Is it? Yeah. yeah what you got. I can tell you how to get in. Bribe my hand and I'll tell you how to get in. <laughs> We've done the doors, they've secured. We've, I've lived in here twice, they've cut us out twice. Yeah. But I can tell you how to get in. Okay, yeah, that'd be great. Uh, I'd even pay you if, if you wanted. That's what if I'm you, telling you. Yeah. Bro, get us in, we'll pay. No, <laughs> listen to me, no, you have to get in. I can tell you how you see up on the roof, go straight along. Right, you go up onto the top, you've got a vent. It's like, you've got like a fit. Come in. Come in. Right. This is what we rely on sometimes. Oh, that's how I get in. You've got a vent like that one there on the side there. See that vent? Yeah, yeah. You've got one around the other side, but it's in a tip, like a wall, like an enclosure. You go up into it, right, yeah. you just drop down, you have to drop down. It's not far though. Good. It's a good face for me. Good face for me. Yeah, I'll be back at 12, promise you. Right, Jesse right. James, gentlemen, yeah? Nice. I'll get you in. Yeah, right, good to right. me, man. I'll get you in, I promise. Get me here for 12. Be here for 12. I'll yeah, get we'll, we'll be here. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm shaking, I'm shivering, it's that cold. Just got out of a nice warm car. Wow, how the hell did he fit through that? He's stuck. Right, call the fire brigade. Just don't panic, whatever you do, don't panic, that's the worst. We'll get you out. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I told you this night is cursed. Did anybody check to see if the door was already unlocked? Yeah, did anybody try and open the door? Yeah, I did. 
<laughs> oh, there you go, there you go. Yeah. That's cold. <laughs> right, right, blur, blur. <laughs> <laughs> I blur it. <laughs> the squatter people coming down. There's <laughs> a naked man up there. No, he will do. <laughs> now that that is dedication. Rub it in all over, and then you slide in nicely. Right, just get yourself on. It's all good. Keep your hands up high. Yeah, keep your hands up. And take your time. Keep your hands up as high as you can. Don't take your hands down and low. Right. Keep keep one arm on. And turn your head to the right. Turn your head to the left. There we go. There we go. Turn your head to the right. Get your head through. Turn it. That's it. You got it. Fucking legend. You're gonna have to flip around. That's it. One hand down on the next lap, lap. It's only a three foot. If you can drop, oh. you can just drop. Yeah, oh, 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 Give me some five, man. Yo. Underground London, eh? What's going on there? Oh, my bloody gimbal's pissing. What's going on what? My gimbal's hurt. Come on. Keep your eye out for the sensors. Andrew, keep your eye out for sensors. Do you know what they look like? Not just black boxes. Well, no, no, that's just power. Bro, they all, they all make, just fine. He might not know. It's unlocked anyway, so I'm not going to know. Actually, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. I don't know where it goes. Just don't run. Oh, look at the old archways. Oh, look. I wonder, what, I wonder if that was always part of the cable run or not. It looks like it was older than that. Okay, we're just checking for sensors. Oh wow, it takes you to the to the road. There's some wrap latches here for the road. Oh wow, look how far this you are here. My my lens is completely steamed up. Big opening was for. Tell you what, there's a walkway that way which is really long. Yeah, I know. It goes for miles. And you don't have to crouch down here. Just goes on and on and on. I'm around there. Huh? Because I'm around there. Well, there's no 
It's absolutely amazing down here. Pure history. Obviously, now it's been used for cables. But before that, I'm going to drop the history anyway. But these tunnels stretch all over London. That's a, that's a train next to us, that. Stop panicking, bro. Andrew, always the rope warrior. You see all these here? These would have been old supports for old original pipes. Not sure what time period. Crazy, look at this. I think these are just to power the lights, but yeah, these are just to power the lights. But I think if a terrorist got down here, all these power lines and stuff, I know it's one of those places where I think, like, are we responsible to contact the authorities or not? But it's like a underground, it's like a st stability thing, that. Yeah, there is a tunnel going off to the right. There's a tunnel that goes off this way. Yeah. I don't know where it goes or how far. Let's go. Mind your heads, don't touch any of the wires. A lot of them should be right in this area. Just send it away, don't you? You're pretty dead. These are all massive power lines. And these are Smith Four. Worth it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's exciting. <laughs> you don't see this every day. More lit up tunnels. No, that's just uh, normally to say there's a fire exit, but I don't know if. Me. 
looking for some but I can't read it. Mission successful. This takes us out to that shop. You know the drain drain cover in front of the shop? So yeah. This is where this takes us out. So see how many videos. That's the sensor. What? That red thing, it just flashed red at us. That thing. It just flashed red at us. The black pink. box. The, above the black box, the white thing. It was red. Oh, that's because of the lights. What the lights are cheap. What's the cheap? What's the cheap? I'm so part that I just saw all the light, red lights on it. What, in here? No, no. That box above the black box. You see the black box, wire going up, white box. That that's white box. Uh, yeah. Light switch. That white box is a light switch. That's going to say, that's a light switch, and that would probably just be a regulator or something. It might be, to, so if the power goes off, then it'll show you where there's a button. Okay. It might be like, this is, you know, emergency. That's, um... It's going to look at that, uh, map. We're here, no, no, because you can get across the bridge. You can get underneath there, can't you? I'll have to go back and look, won't we? They? Are they all, they're all oh, service mate, tunnels. Take a picture. Fuck, mm. take a picture. Yeah, they're of all this. service tunnels. They're all the entrances. <laughs> so, where do we walk then? We walk from. Yeah. We never started there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, look at these ones. Right, we're heading back because there is another part. I'm just trying to be. I'm going to try to see if I can on top of there. Yeah. So I'm going to shove this through the 60 degree camera. It's awesome. Pulls you guys there and it's getting a little bit social media. But, um, yeah, it's a special one. I've been wanting to do underground running for so long, we're in a part of it. Now there's another long tunnel further down that we need to go and look down. But I'm looking more at the history of the arches. Comparing them kind of to what Manchester's like. But so far, I have seen some differences. Nowhere near as big. Watch yourself. Watch your bag and pass these cables. Once you try to do nickel, because it could be a thousand volts. I let it through these. I know it'll be it quite be like super high. It'll be quite warm, won't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good video. But I'll catch it on film. It'll be the last thing we ever see of you, but Dan dips and snakes. I mean to be honest, you're a YouTuber, I don't expect anything less. Side when we came in, we knocked down. Well, the way we're walking, we're down side. This way. Yeah. Is this the one you're talking about? Yeah. No, I'm afraid to get into the The moment you turn that corner, you're going to see some wires. Wow. Keeps going. Come on, blind me. Yeah, there we go. This is only one. Yeah, let me tell you. Sit down for a second. Relax. Um, no, don't sit on that, whatever you do. Do not. That, one cable. that is an open wire. Yeah, oh, don't touch that. Do not touch that. You don't touch any of it. I'm just getting a little bit overexcited, so I can just chill out for a little second. It's a breeze. It's street sweep. So yeah, you wouldn't want to touch that guys. Especially not your tongue. That's the street cleaner. Yeah, I thought it was. Yeah. On the surface, yeah. Leave me a comment, are you enjoying this underground series? I have so much coming. I mean, if you was with me back in Underground Manchester Times, 
He was with me back in Underground Manchester times. Do you remember that content? Do you remember how exciting it was? The adventure, constantly looking around for these underground spaces, and eventually you end up finding it. And it's just the adrenaline rush of finding it, the excitement. This is what this series is all about. We've got all this coming. Plus, we've got the Journey to the Center of the Earth series where we find the deepest spots known to man. The deepest parts in the UK. Mines that lead us so deep, we end up finding crystals and stuff. That is my favorite series so far. What do you mean, stuff blocking? But we wouldn't be able to cross any of this. And we probably should not cross any of that. Does anybody know what um, direction we're taking now? Well, so that's an exit there, and there's a map there. I was going to say, we just walked underneath where your car was. There's a ladder here. I'll be honest, this does not look safe. Look, all the wires have been pulled up, and they are plugged in. Mm. And it gets worse further on, you can see it gets all tangled. It looks like this might be the end of the road for now. It's never the end of the road. Because well, it's too unsafe to continue, it's just it is what it is, isn't it? It's better to, if it's too to stay now. Yeah, we're dealing with like deathly. Oh yeah, you've got to think there's 11,000 volts going through every one of them cables down on your right and left hand side. I every one of them red cables is 11,000 volts. Yeah. What about the black ones? I don't know. The black ones are just multi-wired cables. Yeah, you imagine some of them are four core armoured. But look how big those big ones are. Yeah, the big ones would be the Alaconda, the, the um, Alaconda cable, isn't it? They're full of, they're full of like hundreds of wires. Yeah. So they are okay. It's the red ones are the power cables. Yeah. They'll they'll be solid copper core, running eleven thousand volts. Well, it's, it's these ones here which have got these um, sheaths on them. They're the eleven thousand volt ones. These ones. Yeah, they're the ones you do not touch. Ah. But danger, eleven thousand volts. What about the red ones as well? Yeah, it even says eleven. Well, I'm not risking it personally. Well, I mean the black ones. These black ones are okay, bro. Well, black, black's, on, black, black's normally earth brown, don't, no, brown jet. So don't. I see what you're saying. A lot of these ones on the right might be telephone, like the ones on the left are uh, electric. electric. And do you know why they keep them separate? Because the ones on the left interfere yeah. with these. Yeah, so these are the ones you want to avoid. These may not be quite so bad on the right hand side. No, but I mean, you look, you can see there. Yeah, mm. solid. Are they really going to leave that like that if it's powered? No. There won't be no power to that, surely. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Then they, they these bags too dangerous. They can have workers and everything down here. Oh, look. Right, so after... What the fuck is going on with the chest? Since we got in here, I got all excited. Yeah, I think you just got over excited. I mean, you've been, how long have you been wanting this for, bro? A while, and then exactly. now it's like... Exactly. just like almost getting a heart attack. Yeah, it's chill. Um, we decided we're going to press on. See how far we can get. We're just checking these cables. Aren't going to fry us. Obviously, this is super dangerous. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Let's see what I'm doing. See, guys, um, I'm going to see all five rocks. Oh, do you have this for a battery? Yeah, yeah, one sec. Well, we're definitely not. Dan fully rubbed his sack on it. <laughs> I just brushed them. They're good to go. Yeah, they were crazy, didn't they? <laughs> right, what cool, did you do? Man. Did you touch anything to get over? Oh, exactly. Yeah, I rubbed my, I rubbed my, uh, oh, these are okay. I rubbed my private area on these, these ones, big ones here. I think they're out. Anyway, I think they're sliced. So let me step back in case you. Uh, on them. You got you alright, you got long legs. You're good. Just don't kick it with the bottom of your boot. There you go. Okay. Alright? We're over. Yeah, just We're chill. Nice relaxed explore bro.
ain't no mind checks. <laughs> no. Oh, look inside that. Yeah. Oh, that's like a big generator of some sort in there. Cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's got to be in it. It looks like an exhaust I can see and stuff. Everything's going into there though. Everything. Be careful on this wood here. Whatever you do, do not lean on these ones, Andrew. Why? Because these ones are all power. Big power as well. Yeah, 41,000. 41,000 volts going through these ones. That's the shit running the trains, isn't it? Yep. You wouldn't even know you've you've been shocked, bro. You'd just be on you'd be on fire instantly. So, is this something we should warn? Fucking <laughs> London police about. Well, that's what I asked. I asked that question. It's worse. Yeah, it is getting worse, bro. Be careful. It's basically the same as it's all the way down now. Really? It's like it's all the way down, just as it is. There's nothing overhanging by the look of it. It's right. just a narrow yeah. walkway all the way to the bottom now. Yeah. Look down there. You guys in the comments, let me know. Is this something we should probably warn London police about? Yeah, I can see that actually. Oh. You know, you get like when you get gas in there, you can see like a uh, shimmer. Yeah, yeah, that's what it looks like. Hey, the bottom I can that smell sun. Look down there. I can yeah, smell it still. I can smell it. For our own safety, I still think we should head back. This yeah, I, I, I do think, think in terms of that, we need to. I don't know if we can get it on this camera, guys. But no, there is. You can 100% see it. Oh, smell it clearly yeah. there as well, and you can it's see it shimmering. Yeah. Right, so there's a gas leak up ahead. Yeah, I want to see what Matty's found there. I'm gonna hang back here. And also, I'm gonna turn my phone off. <laughs> the gas is so bad. I'm gonna start heading back. I mean, bro, you've, you've got a you've got a torch on. If you, if you're gonna ignite it, your torch is gonna do it. What are you looking at anyway? Just the death that we face ahead of us. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's just a monkey smell. It's not gas. <laughs> <laughs> Few people. Yeah, there's, there's, so there's so many vents down here. You're fine. Yeah, there's a few people down here. The world above, oblivious to the world underneath them. Is that an old manhole? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, there was an old manhole once upon a time. It's time to get you the count of wires through here. It's like a scene out of here, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, on the floor, watch out, there's a, there's a junction on the right. Watch out, there's live wires all over the floor. Do not touch, do not kick it. I think they're just probably fiber optics, but still. Well, do you know what? This is getting too sketchy now. It's the end, anyway. It's the exit. It's the end. Well, this is exit. But look at the size of them bits of copper that are hanging out, the ones yeah. that have been cut. Excellent. Oh, that's leaking back here. Yeah. Can we not get out? Mind your head, bro. To be honest, I'd rather go back. I don't want to be there. Mind your head. No worries. Yeah, 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 yeah. But if Matthew says no, then I'm guessing it's pretty yeah. serious. Yeah. You'd have to duck down and just scoot, and there's no guarantee you're going to get out, to be honest. Yeah. The road. <laughs> no, I won't be in this room. Definitely not. Yeah, if it's wet, I'll be fine. I'll be the one. Before I climb over, I want to know that thing's going to open. Dying. Dying. Just try and push it up. Just try and push it up to see if it opens first. How would you close it if it does? 
just leave it open. You don't, you don't have to open all. Well, yeah, you can leave it open. We'll and just start getting out of it. Fucking scary. Yeah, just leave it open. It doesn't matter if someone comes in. Sorry, it's people just walking footsteps. Yeah, it's probably just ventilation above you. Yeah, if you look up there, Andrew, where that brown pipe is, there's, there's a little brown uh, up there. That's probably what you've heard. There's two, three, four holes I can see. Well, did you slam that so hard? I didn't. It did it on its own. I slammed it when I opened it though. I don't matter the area or anything. Right, we was going to go out for manhole, but I think they're all too locked down. What goes further down? Bro, there's more tunnels that go down. Yeah, but there's more tunnels that go down. Chance no, what about that way? They go that way. Look, it goes that way. Look. It goes that way. Alright, one person at a time go down there. Yeah, well, tell you what, you have a look and tell us if it goes in uh, yeah. I should have, I should have my, uh, my one. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, he goes on. Yeah. That's what the second tunnel is, the parallel. Let's go. Yeah, it's much. More adventure. Yeah. Into the older history of the city. Somebody come and grab Dan's camera, yeah. Grab to grab Dan's camera. Train's under us. Yeah, train's under us. Feel it. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can feel it. Right under us, bro. That's us feet. That's so, where does this take us? Well, it's to the other side. I don't know what's on this side. I have no idea what's on this side. Oh, it takes us to more tunnels up there, bro. Yeah. Oh. Okay, that takes us to the street side door. And that takes us to our tunnels. Okay. Um, who was the climber for a living? Did you get Just go, bro. I can't carry a camera to climb this. I'll hold it. And I also, yeah, film, filming me going up would be nice. How do you open these? Yeah, yeah you are. You're a big boy. That ladder's wobbling a lot. I Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I'm trying to help. Come in, bro. 
Okay. Andrew, yeah. Okay. Right. Rocky, you can have a camera. Yeah. You're here. What I did was I stepped onto one of these steps and put my legs over that railing. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, just keep going up. Ooh, where's my camera? Oh, uh, right here. <laughs> Alright, we're good. Alright, let's see what these lead to. These ones look older. Okay, there's sirens above us. Look, we're right underneath the road. These tunnels seem a lot older. A lot older. Another door? Yeah, there was once an entrance there. Mm. Let's take a look. Oh, wow. Boys, we've got to go down here. Hmm? We're going to have to go down here. Yeah, it looks cool. What is with that random says that? Yeah, he's been actually so. What's it like, bro? Sewers, bro. We're in the sewers. Uh, no, no that's the best stuff. Mm. Shit, isn't it? Yeah, I know, but think about it. Sewers. Yeah, that's the untold. We're that's in London mm. sewers. Too. Yeah. But that, they're the proper rat run sewers. Yeah, like from the not untouched around here, though, like, like the Ghostbusters. What? Yeah, exactly. My pizza down there. Michelangelo. Yeah, right. That's all. I've worked out what, what the situation is here. Don't look, right? Huh? Tell me you want to be a we're in these parallel tunnels. Okay. It stops here. But why it stops is because we're going to go down those things, we're going to go across, oh, yeah. back up, and we'll end up that one again. Right now, we're stood at the entrance. We climb down that ladder, we climb back up here, and outside, we're underneath one of the bridges. Look at this. There's cars going past there. So we're underground, but there's still a level down here that the, the cars can get to. So we're going down even more into the sewers. And if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, consider subscribing if you haven't. Join the channel. Joining the channel helps us so much. It continues to adventures like this. All the channel members, literally, the channel member money, here for us to get to London for a few nights. It's expensive here. We're filming all these underground stuff. We are putting out bangers. 
because they're channel members. So yeah, click the join button or click the link in the description or actually in the pinned comments, you can click that link and become a channel member. You'll get the exclusive icon that's your name, loads of other perks as well. Just hand it to us when I've got a few hand drills. Cheers. Rat problem down here. Rats? Yeah. There's mold. Yeah, just be aware there's going to be a lot of rats down here. There is rats. And mold, did he say? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, it's a shit thing I've been asking. I doubt there'll be more with, mo with uh, running water. It seems clean. Oh wow, now we're going to the real history. So there's no risk of just flooding, right? No. Let's go boys. Oh, I can smell that. Yep, just a bit. Oh, look at that. Do, all right, do you want a bit of history right here? What's that? That is an old coal chute. So what they would do is they would shoot all the used coal down here. Hmm, interesting. Well, it could, it's either that, but I think it is because of the charcoal buildup. But sometimes what they would have as well is the barges underneath the ground would have what's called carcass chutes where the butchers would dump the dead bodies down these chutes similar to this and they would they would literally land inside barges in the river which would take them out somewhere oh, yeah oh. Oh, it smells so bad. Right now, we've got to crawl through this way. Oh, is this it? No, no, we're going underneath. Anyone over first? Yeah, we need to go under here. No, it's only, it's only for a little bit and then it winds up again. Oh. You're mental. <laughs> go on down. I'm not going to like spy this, but you, you don't mind going down in people's plot. What's up there, though? That's the, that's the next bit, eh? The next bit of water. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> it's the mystery of it all. Mm. Yeah, it does smell a little bit, doesn't it? I take it you've never been in a sewer before? No. <laughs> it's always good fun in the sewer. I even a toilet break tonight. I Oh, there's a door to the street. It's a door to the street. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Is that all it is? That's it. That's it after this. Does it open? Mm, you can go out if you want. Yeah, well, I think you can go out that way. And we're turning the sewer. I cannot believe we're down here. I'm not just here. I'm not going to leave. Does it go out? Can you see? I can't see it, man. I can't get that one out of these, but... No, 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 I mean, up there, I can't. What's up there? It's rusted. It's rusted. Does it open, though? No, no. What? It doesn't. It's like as if it's, the latch is locked, and it, it's not making contact with the bars. It's like there's a key, and it stopped you. Right. Connection. That's it, right? I'm going to climb back down. Mm-hmm. I tried covering my face, but it was just... It's getting through 
didn't matter what you got with it. I've got that smart, it's going to be back with them, so I've that smart. Right, are we going, guys? Oh, wow, there's water coming out the bottom here. That must be a toilet maybe flushing, I don't know. Mm. But now it stopped. Right. We're going to go and see if this door opens now, so we can get out. I've been underground for a couple of hours now. It's been a long video. Be careful, be careful. I can hear like a generator or something. No, that's just on the road. Yeah, but I can hear like a, an engine running and generator or something. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. In the midst of getting excited about coming here, I picked up everything apart from my boots, so do uh, excuse the white trainers. It wasn't my fault. Last time they'll ever be used, sewage time. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You would have got that door and room in it. Is that gate open there, boys? Yeah. That one? Um, no, no. no. Yeah, that one yeah. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that door open? That's the car. <laughs> it's crazy how unsecure that is. Yeah. Like, I know. Those power lights. There you go. No one about in sight. Now that's dangerous. Right, so things took a little a little crazy turn actually. Um, like I said uh, earlier, it was uh, yesterday was the 30th of November. It is now the 1st of December at 12 minutes past 5 in the morning. Uh, an hour ago, we were stood looking at another underground location. We were looking hard to get in. All of a sudden, this almighty boom happened. It shook the ground. It shook houses, car alarms and shops. Alarms were going off. Obviously, we spoke about it before. There was a terrorist attack only on the 29th. Then we hear this boom. So literally we all jumped in our cars and went our separate ways, getting the hell out of London. Stopped, stopped at a service station. Um, I'm about 10 miles outside London. Uh, quickly just grabbed something uh, to eat for the journey, heading back home. But that was scary. Now, there's been hundreds and hundreds of reports. If you go on online now, type in uh, uh, London explosion, 1st of December. Um, there's been hundreds of reports. Now, they have released a statement the um, police have said that it's no cause for alarm but now the MOD have stepped in and said they're going to make an official statement and they've just said that it could be could be a sonic boom from a fighter jet it's flying a fighter jet low enough to hear the sonic boom over London at 4 o'clock in the morning it doesn't make sense it just it's weird so there's probably been so many more updates since I've uh, made this video so yeah, let me know what you know in the comments. Anyway, yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. Until next time.